breaking news, my wonderful people. You'll be shocked to know that RFI reportedly rejected Tinibu's ministerial appointment reveals what he truly wants, my country people. This is coming after Senator She Yusani had, you know, warned Tinibu not to in any way bring in Erufai into his administration to give Erufai any appointment that it would be very dangerous. So, and yes, the list containing the names of the ministerial nominees in President Bola Admet Tinibu's administration is ready and it is currently undergoing some uh, some final security checks yes but for now the names of those people and the numbers have not been reviewed we don't know what names are contained in the list and we don't know whose names are contained in the list but then we know that the list is ready and several names have been written with their respective offices but then nigerians are yet to find out those names so as they be like this so the list is ready uh, and then we are waiting for tinibu to release the list we are waiting for tinibu's government to bring out this list but then i can tell you that uh, you know rumors are going around that yes uh, and will make the list other g5 governors you know some of the g5 governors will make the list their name will appear on this list they will be given a ministerial position in tinibu's administration and then we got to see erufai who has been for long eyeing to be given appointment in tinibu's administration now imran mohammed a chieftain of the all progressive congress have reviewed a very shocking you know details on how the former governor of Kaduna State, Nasa Erufai, has rejected the offer to become a minister in President Bolad Tinibu's government, something we all know that Erufai has been eyeing for a very long time now, and the opportunity is here. Erufai is shying away. What may be the cause of this? The NPC chieftain noted that the Kaduna State former governor prefers continuing with his PhD program to become a minister. Imram quoted a source as saying that Erufai is still not accepting to be a minister. He wants to continue his PhD program, but the president wants him in his administration, and he has sent some delegates to talk to him. And yes, talks are still ongoing. This comes a few hours after reports said the list containing the names of the ministerial nominees in the president Bola Tinibu's administration is ready and undergoing some financial security checks. And according to the punch, a source who did not review the number or the names of those being considered for ministerial offices said the Department of the State Service and the members of the presidential strategic team are running final checks on the people who have been listed as possible ministers and yes they have the list ready several names have been written against their respective offices but uh, they just have to find out and do some checks on few of these names that is what is delaying the list they are being very strategic with this a source said meanwhile they are fresh indications that the president may send the list of his ministerial nominees to the National Assembly this week when the lawmakers resume from the salary break for their legislative duties. And this development is coming one week after the 10th Senate and the House of Representatives adjoined their legislative activities to embark on a holiday till July 4th. And then this was confirmed in two separate interviews with a former coordinator in the dissolved All Progressive Congress Campaign Council, Dr. Ene Obole. So my country people, this is happening, you know, guys. What are your thoughts concerning this? Erufai of all people, I mean, what is really going on? And we know that Erufai have been eyeing to be in Tinibu's government, have been eyeing to be in Tinibu's administration. All of a sudden, Erufai does not, you know, is not really interested 
to get an appointment in Tinubu's government? Or is it because of what so many people have said? Because people have said, well, it would be a very dangerous thing you know, for Erufai to come into Tinubu's government. So my country people, we know Erufai is among the top politicians that is struggling to be in Tinubu's administration. And it is quite, you know, very, very shocking to note that Erufai wants to continue his PhD uh, degree and as such is not interested in Tinubu's ministerial appointment. However, Nigerians have reacted to this. My advice to you, Mr. President, is to unite the people of the Southwest, the Southeast, and the Middle and the South-South to form a formidable political bloc in Nigeria. By this, you might help wage out people like Erufai with their mentality of born to rule in Nigeria. This is a tax that must be done for our dear Nigeria to be free from the bondage of eternal colonialism and to be able to compete with the world in this 21st century digital economy. Let no, bribe, let no tribe, I beg your pardon, or man intimidate you. Well, my prayer is that all should go well. What benefit is the education of these politicians to Nigeria? Majority of them are a disgrace to education, judging from their character and judging from the way they do things. By the way, Erufai is not human. I wonder why the president should listen to him. He's of no importance in Nigeria. Well, bunch of lies. Erufai is the only person in Nigeria that the president will be begging with ministerial position. Well, these people, Erufai is a bandit. Please, Tinibu should be wise. After all, how on earth would the president beg him to be among his ministers? This is really serious. Guys, these are reactions from Nigerians. So my country people, what are your thoughts concerning this? Yes, we know Many people are anxious for this list. And uh, we know that the Senate, they will soon be ready to release the Tinibu's ministerial list. We are just waiting on the approval of the list. But for now, they are still running some checks on the list. They are going through some background checks on the ministerial nominees. They are screening before the name will be you know, formally forwarded to the Senate for confirmation. And afterwards, Tinibu will now release the names of his ministerial nominees, which we have been hearing some stories that some you know, G5 governors will be, their names will appear on the list, the likes of Nyeson Wike and the others. So guys, I'm dropping here. Kindly share your thoughts concerning this in the comment section. Thank you. Bye for now.